It was the day of the toughest motor race on earth, the 24-hour French classic, Le Mans. Two drivers taking alternating turns at the wheel of superbly tuned sports cars, racing day and night. The big brand names were rolling up to the mark, Ferrari, Jaguar, Mercedes-Benz. It promised to be the fastest and most keenly contested race in the history of the event. A sprint start sets the pace. The Le Mans track, spread over eight miles, is ringed by unprotected spectator stands. There is a crowd of 250,000 following this high-speed marathon. The cars have been racing just two hours, when at 6.26 p.m. local time, a Mercedes, driven by Pierre Leve, clips the wheel of another car. It flies through the air and hits a bank next to a spectator enclosure. The car has somersaulted a barrier and cut a terrible swathe through the crowd. People are torn apart. For 60 yards, the sandy ground on one of the tracks is drenched in blood. Witnesses talk of a massacre that had come without warning. 84 people have been killed and 100 injured, yet the race continues. There would be outrage afterwards. The organizers explained they had kept the race running in case panicking crowds blocked the exit gates and prevented ambulances from getting through. <laughs> 